Welcome to Debbie's Back Porch. Glad to have you with us. Tonight we're going to make creme fraiche. So what is creme fraiche, you ask? Well, it's a cultured milk product, something like sour cream, not nearly as sour, with a higher protein and fat content. It's better for cooking, uh, if you're cooking something for a long time, because it doesn't separate uh, in the cooking process. And many recipes call for creme fraiche. So this is so easy to make and hard to find in the store for me. Uh, two cups of heavy cream, four tablespoons full of buttermilk. It would be better if this weren't ultra pasteurized cream, but that's all I can get around here. And we're gonna use it, it'll work. So shake it up a little bit. Uh, I've got a lid on it, but I'm going to loosen that lid because anytime you have fermenting, you're going to have gases escape. So set it somewhere warm. I actually put mine in my roaster oven on about 100 for the last 3 or 4 hours. And somewhere between 8 and 24 hours, uh, it's going to turn into creme fraiche. And you can see it's thickened up nicely. Uh, it would have the same texture as sour cream uh, if you refrigerate it, but I'm going to use this right away in a recipe, so I'm not going to refrigerate it. So you see the nice thick texture, and oh, it tastes so much sweeter than sour cream, uh, and the texture is just lovely. So I'm going to pour out two cups from my recipe. See that creaminess? I wish you could buy this in the store, but truthfully, it's so easy to make. I probably wouldn't buy it, uh, even if I could. So I don't pour off that last little bit of liquid in the bottom. Uh, stir it up just a little bit. And you know, this is just going to give a creamy rich texture to anything you use to cook with. So there you have it, creme fraiche. Easier to make than it is to find in the store. Creamier than sour cream. And for most dishes, better for cooking. Thank you for joining us on Debbie's Back Porch. See you tomorrow.